Hi there, my name is Sarah in Case, and I am the lead photographer and the owner of Tiny Sphere of Photography yeah. based right here in our yeah. nation's capital of Washington, D.C. Yeah. Today I'm going to do a quick little tutorial yeah. with how to import photographs into, yeah. into templates through Photoshop without yeah. distorting the image and also how to place them on an image um, onto a shape such as a square. Um, so yeah. first... What I always do is I like to number my photographs in order that they are from left to right, top to bottom, really however's most convenient for you. That way I don't always have to search for where the numbers are. And then I click the mask that I want, the layer that I want to place the object on top of. So I want to use this picture right here, number one. So I clicked on one. I'm going to place my image in here. Perfect. I'm going to drag it over to where I would like to place my image. And as you can tell, it's a little too tall for what I want. So I'm going to press Shift and Alt. Again, that's Shift and Alt. And you'll see that this nice little arrow comes up here. I know that only says Shift, but I promise Alt is there too. And then here you can see through pressing both Shift and Alt, I can move my, uh, I can make my image larger or smaller without distorting it. And that seems like it's pretty perfect right there. So I'm going to press OK for it to accept it. From that point, I'm going to go over and right click my image. And our menu comes up here. I'm going to do Create Clipping Mask. From that point, you can use the pointer cursor and you can move your image all throughout there. But as you can see, the image that I placed will only show on that shape there. All right, perfect. I'm going to do the same thing for this vertical one over here. So I'm going to press 4, get my image that's in the other screen, place it onto, place it onto my template. I'm going to move it over. And you don't have to move it over right away. Um, let's say that you accidentally press OK right here. That's totally OK. Just press Control T or go up to your edit panel and do free transform. But again, I'm going to press Shift and Alt. And I'm going to make this smaller so it'll fit, fit my box better. I'm going to press OK because I'm very happy with that. Perfect. Right click the image, go up to Create Clipping Mask, and then move it wherever I want. Perfect. So um, now I have these two in the middle that are ready. I'm going to actually um, put it above number two, but I'm going to import. Uh, two images at once because as you can tell these are the same size and I think that'll just be easier so I'm gonna import them in I'm actually not gonna change anything from the image right away so I'm just gonna click it and accept it it's good and that one's good as well at this point I'm going to highlight both of those images and I'm going to press control T that makes it so I can transform it. Now I'm going to show you another way that you can um, that you can maneuver the size of the image without distorting it. You're going to go up here and press this little button. It's a little lock button. That will keep everything nice and same. See, I'm not pressing any buttons whatsoever. And they're going down quite nicely. There we go. Sorry, it likes to pop up a little bit sometimes. But I think that's probably right about where it needs to be. So I'm going to press OK. Let that process for just a second. OK, so now I'm going to press them individually, uh, click them individually. And I see I have my move cursor. I'm going to move that image up to the box and see it's actually just a little bit smaller than what I need it. So I'm going to highlight both of those images again. Um, I'm going to click one, press control, click the other, then control T. And then I'm, again, I'm pressing shift and alt at the same time. So everything stays proportionate. Press okay, perfect. I'm going to move, um, if you see over here in the right panel, I'm going to move that one image of little Augie <laughs> right here. I'm going to move it over top of three. And I'm going back up to that one image of the family image and I'm going to right click it and clip create clipping mask and I want to move that of course I don't want their heads cut off 
There we go. I moved that with the cursor. Perfect. And I'm going to go to the other one of Augie down here. Right click it, create clipping mask. Perfect. So see, it's super, super easy. All right, so now um, we're actually going to go just a little bit deeper. And you see, I have another template here, but I have everything um, sorted out. The only difference is, is that three is in the middle. Uh, yes, it does bug me a little bit, but um, oh, wait, actually, it doesn't need to be in the middle. There we go. I feel much better now. <laughs> um, so I actually want to start with number three, the image all the way over to the right. I'm going to click click the um the the place that I want to clip and put my image on. I'm going to take my image from my other screen, drag it in. And I'm going to keep it the I actually I'm going to press control and alt make it go down a little bit. Use my cursor and drag the picture over to where it is, <laughs> to where the the picture mask is over here. Sorry, my computer wants to go just a smidge slow on this one. Okay, now that my image is moved over here, you can see that this that this picture mask is on a slight angle, and I would like to do the same with with my photograph. So I'm going to take my cursor and put it by one of the corners of the image. It's going to turn into a round into a round cursor to where I will be able to move it. should <laughs> okay so my computer doesn't want to do that real quick so I'm gonna go ahead and place the object there we go I'm just gonna press Control T there we go maybe you can't do that when you import it in so I'm going to turn it just to match that angle there perfect I'm happy with that so I'm going to place the object again press the little arrow up here it's gonna take just a second there we go. And I'm going to do the same thing that we, what we did. I know it's not perfectly aligned yet, but that's okay. I'm going to press uh, the right click and then create clipping mask. I have it on my pointer, so I can go ahead and move this however I would like. There we go. That's my little cutie. That's my son. <laughs> We're camping with that. All right, so now I'm going to go over here and do number one. So I click the picture mask that's in number one. I'm going to take my image and bring it in. My son and my husband and the camper. And beautiful light. All right, so I like, once again, I use Shift and Alt to move that or um, to scale it down. I'm moving it over slightly and I'm going to press control T so I can so I can turn it and when you turn it here you don't have to do anything but um, I'm gonna bring it up here a little bit so I can make sure that they align and really you don't have to if you have objects that are moved it's all up to you on how you want it alright so I'm right clicking create clipping mask perfect I'm pretty happy with that and once again now I need the middle one I am going to press the middle I press the middle mask here. Here's my son once again. <laughs> so I am pressing shift and alt and grabbing the corner here. As you can tell, that's my favorite way. Again, you can still, if you prefer it, you can use that little lock mechanism right there. And I'm pressing OK because I'm happy with the size of that right now. His space is going to be cut off a little bit, but that's OK. All right, so that has placed, and I'm going to right-click the image over here, just like I have with everything else, create clipping mask, move it down to the perfect spot. There we go. So, like I said, really, really easy to to be able to create, uh, do this technique of importing your images into your templates and no. being able to size your, your images proportionately. It's a lot it's a lot easier uh, done than it is to explain it, and I hope that I hope that you learned something from this. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me an email, Sarah at tinysparrowphotography.com. All right, have a great one.